Hi Sara. Hi Gemini. And uh, you know me and I know you but let's introduce ourselves. I'm a take charge expert. I work with women and children to empower them. I'm going to talk to Sara about her power beliefs as to what in her life she has a belief system that has brought her from a small little lovely girl to a stunning personality today. Every Thank time you. I look at her one thing I really love about you is your energy. The amount of energy Aww. that you spread across. Thank you. Is I really want to know the secret to that and I wish I can just have 10% of that. That would be You perfect. have Gemini. You I have. know, but uh, I would want more of it. <laughs> so, Sarah, I want to know more about you as a child. As a child, first of all, I was very stubborn. Stubborn in a nice way, not ziddi type. I was very determined, I can say. Like if I wanted something, I would go after it till I get and I think I'm still like that. So that's one thing that uh, one area of my life where everybody used to wonder, yeah, isko to, like even my sisters used to, my my uh, sister who's in London right now, she used to always envy, Ki, mama, why hamesha everything, whatever Sarah wants, you know, she gets. And they didn't have any answer. Ki, my God, this girl just goes after it. Like, you know, there so was- You're persistent. So I think that is one of your, a uh, power system I would say rather yeah. than belief because when you're persistent even I've been uh, caught hold of by people and say you're so persistent you want to do when you want to do something you do something so I can resonate with what you're saying what yeah. else and, and ultimately it works for us right so why not but when I was a kid when I was a teenager I I didn't really know the difference like you know everybody was used to say Ki, you know you always get what you want I didn't know that it was me I used to always think okay I'm lucky but slowly, slowly as I grew up and then slowly, slowly as I went into the psychology and training business, I realized, wow, this is like my uh, USP. I mean, I go after it and I go after it very subtly. But uh, whether it was my uh, dance, whether it was my college, whether it was my uh, um, uh, psychology career, whether it was my relationship, my whether buddy. it was my acting, everything I have, it took time. There were a lot of, I didn't get things very easily because there were a lot of hurdles in front of me for everything, whether you say it my, my I don't think any hurdle would stop you because I know you are a go-getter. I mean, once you've decided, and in a good way, I mean, because when yeah. you know what you want and you're very focused, at the same time, I find that you're very down to earth. And I really like people who don't have those airs about themselves because you are so privileged today. And uh, I think it didn't come easy. You really worked for yeah, it. You know, you nothing, earned it. Nothing came easy to me. I, I don't think so. Anything, not even... Um, uh, like my acting career as of now or my relationship my husband not, nothing came easy to me it was all I really had to work hard for it and, and I think you have had the most uh, best things come to you uh, talking about your husband uh, I wouldn't be mentioning him much in this interview because we'll go on and on talking about him <laughs> otherwise but uh, you have a celebrity husband you yeah. yourself are a celebrity so <laughs> how do you two guys balance your uh, system you know I mean do you do you uh, set back your priorities to give him th him that uh, push or he does it sometimes for you I would really want to know the See, equation. I think once you respect each other and you respect each other's work and you're more of a friend you know then you realize you don't have to set back anybody's priorities to give yourself uh, or give your partner a priority it just comes easy like you know like if I respect my work I would automatically respect his work Correct. so whether he has to go to a celebrity's house at twel after 12 midnight to coach or whether somebody uh, is calling him from overseas on the phone when he has to coach one hour maybe it is 2 a.m. because of the time difference I respect that because he, I know that he enjoys that so and sometimes when I have to work 24 hours a day in my shoot he knows that I enjoy it and he knows that okay you know she loves her work and it's her priority leave it so you're valuing each other's uh, profession and yeah. your time and that's how your relationship becomes very strong yes and i think a lot of uh, working couples need to understand this because nowadays uh, up one getting more success and the other getting less success or one both equally successful uh, couples are really struggling today to you know make uh, interdependence because in my book nine ways to empower i have a chapter on interdependence yeah. and how husband and wife can work together of course the idea came for my mentor mm -hmm. about not being independent because mm -hmm. I have been this independent woman yeah. so he said it is really really important to have men and women work to yeah. together and I think you guys are a perfect example Thank I you. call you all my Santa couple because <laughs> I get a lot of things from you all Aww. so yeah tell me more about uh, see interdependence uh, as a couple I always feel man has a role to play and a woman has a role to play 
if you play independently i don't know where it is going to head so couples first of all should understand that you know nobody is higher than each other women are not higher than men and men are not higher than women absolutely like, you can't compare this is what i say even in my seminars you know when i hold seminars women i say this is my subject you know of communication and uh, behavior pattern and i always say how can you compare you know we are superior or we are equal actually women by us saying by we waving our flag about equality actually lowers us down because we're far more than equal you know Correct. I am, so you I cannot totally say, agree i mean tell me okay this is only one aspect that women can give birth that is one different aspect which nobody can yeah. contest it yeah you can't even compare the pain and you can't even compare the strength but also women has uh, women have these uh, uh, intense power of emotions and femininity that itself is so strong this that power belief what i talk about you know in take charge of your life is exactly the reason i talk about power beliefs is if you believe you are inferior you are if you believe you are superior of course it has to have a mindset of growth yeah. you know so it just take a little bit of extra to become extraordinary yeah. so sara i've seen some really really extraordinary qualities in you as a individual mm -hmm. because you when you meet people you no know, you make them feel wow you know when i sit with you i never feel ki i'm not from your circle or i'm not uh, you know something okay. i never feel inferior i always feel you know good value so i think you provide so much good affection and value to the person you meet that you have you become like a magnet you know people wow, just come across you that <laughs> and you are really equally i mean we equally adore you because see, we train Aww. under uh, um, arfin but the amount of interaction i have had with you and the conversation we are having today i mean it's going to help a lot of people understand ki what are the qualities that you need to be extraordinary mm. so just name a couple of your extraordinary qualities that you feel you have i want to know your power beliefs um like what people have told me my family have told me uh, which i didn't realize again about myself is that uh, i i forgive very easily okay super second is i always try and find the best in a person like if we are in an environment and i have seen this like especially in the acting career in this industry where one person is bitching about the other one you know so they are bitching about each other and i always say but you know what look at her look at her strength look at her this look at her that and this is not deliberately i'm doing it is it is something you developed your mind yeah, you focus on you always look at good things yeah even when my sister or my friend tells me You know, look at her. I think you know she shouldn't be behaving. I said no, but look at her strength. Look at how she is. And my God, this uh, this is one thing that is getting her forward. And so I have always seen the best in a person. I I I don't know whether I ignore or I I um. I don't know I just don't see the I think you see or... it's like you know the negatives will develop when you look at them. Yeah. So I think your focus is totally towards looking at good things in people. Yeah. And some more power beliefs we want to take home as much as possible because this is a rare opportunity you know. Wow. So um tell me something about your enthusiasm. What do you do that you are so fit and you are always on charge and on I, fire? I, I love you have life. passion. You love yeah. life. I love life. No matter what ups and downs I've gone through in my life, I just feel each day God has given another gift of another day. So you day. get up every day morning with yeah. a conscious thought that you are going to make your day superb yes. and you are going to love life in spite of whatever it brings you. If whatever. Yeah, and and I take it because see I don't like I don't like normal life also, you know. So if there is a uh, You like ups and downs not adventures. happening, I'll be like okay, what next? What next? So life I create boring. that. I think I create this havoc in my life and I create this up and down and I create this I don't know bizarre uh, experiences in the day and uh, my sister has that knack of doing it as well. I was so, going to come to Nana because <laughs> she's your sibling. I I don't I've not met other sisters or, or family friends of yours, but I met Nana. Yeah. And she's like a powerhouse of energy and I know I've had her story in my book, you know, about her dreams and running and I'm going to talk to her also. But how what is your what is your equation with your sister? Do you all fight like normal sisters or you all all goody goody all the time or do you have jealousy happening between you all or competition happening between you all? Jealousy competition out of the question with us. Um we inspire each other. I I learn a lot of uh, fitness and um, 
dedication from her because I just can't believe that this girl gets up at 5 a.m. just for run in Not spite of yeah, in spite of in having like a crazy week schedule like where she is uh, you know she's a lawyer and she goes uh, early morning to late nights she has to work and then Nena, she sleeps this is for four you. hours yeah she sleeps four hours and then I thought if she can do it why can't I so I've started getting up early and going to the gym and I've started running wherever in whichever part of the country I am I get up in the morning and I go for runs so this I have learned from I her. think this is your one uh, quality or a power belief in you that you can uh, inspire for somebody who is younger to you yeah. you look at good at everybody yeah. and you pick up something good from everyone yeah, you're always so, learning you know I think if you see yourself as a student of life you will always learn and if you come across like uh, oh I know it all your learning stops there and you can't grow like when Amitabh Bachchan when you see Amitabh Bachchan his attitude his aura when you when you see him he doesn't need to act to what he is he is with his persona his style and he yes. still learns every day so if he sees you he'll still stand up for you he'll still greet you properly and you see the new actors right now they come as well, you know they come with like yeah. you know I am and blah 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 I know it all so you can tell the difference so when you are something you don't have to show and when you are not that you have to show okay I want you to take charge of one thing that you haven't been doing and been committing and being delayed so I heard that you're writing this wonderful book mm -hmm. and I'm waiting for you to declare the date so I'm going to ask you to take charge of your decision okay and you need to commit to us what is the day that we are going to see your book on stands hmm. okay so this this is where you caught me a uh, procrastination on my <laughs> book I've been writing and writing and writing and then I go through this phase where I don't look at it at all so fine now I so have to so it's going to be a gift to all the women you are going to work with yes because imagine all of us reading your stories and picking up the good things in life and stuff like that it's going to be valuable so I finished my book nine ways to empower I had a promise to keep I did it I'm coming yeah, out with did. my hardbound book soon in a month's time wow. which will have exercises and stuff like that so now I want you to commit what's the okay, date we're in Jan right now so I think uh, by Afin's birthday, almost my draft should be ready, which is 18th April. And when so will we see the final product? Final product depends on the publishers and the design. So let's say April, May, within one month's time. So this May, we yeah. are coming out with Sarah's new book. And this is her commitment to me. And thank you so much. Thank Love you. you. Love you. Love you.